Hi, today I'll show you an easy yet engaging way to present your maps. Most presenters present their maps like this. It looks cluttered because there is too much information being presented all at once and it doesn't really look very pleasing. Let me show you an alternative way to present the same map. On a click, I bring the viewer's attention to the first point. Then on a click, I move the attention to the second point and then I move the attention to the third point and then I move the attention to the fourth point and so on. Let me show you how to achieve this effect. It is surprisingly simple and it's quite effective. I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. We help professionals like you create engaging presentations. The first step is to go to the nounproject.com and search for camera focus and find the focus that suits your requirement. There are quite a few options available here. I found this one to be quite nice. I then clicked on download and went to basic download and this comes for free and I can go to continue and I have this option to download it as an SVG image. Now I go here, I pick up that image and then come here and first I paste it. First I need to remove this text which is right next to this focus. Now you can see that when I click on this, I unnecessarily click on this map and this is a pain. So to avoid this issue, let me right click and go to this option called lock. Now this map is totally locked. I don't really have to worry about selecting this unnecessarily. Now I have got this one selected. Let me increase the size so you can see what we've got here. I don't want this text to be there as part of this. So I'm going to right click, go to convert to shape and I can select this thing and delete. Now I'm going to select all of this again and press control G. Perfect. And I'm going to place my first one over here to talk about North America. Then I inserted a rectangle and placed these two text elements inside it and then grouped it together. It's a fairly simple thing to do. So this is the label box and this label box needs to come as soon as this one clicks. So how do we do that? It's very simple. First, I'm going to select this focus thing, then go to the emphasis animation and have it pulse. The default duration is 0.5 seconds. And then we will have this label float in along with it. So we're going to say this happens with previous and let's keep this for 0.5 seconds as well. When I go to animation pane, you can see that these two are the animations. The first one needs to happen with previous. I don't really want this to happen on a click. The reason is I'm going to make multiple copies of this. Let me right click, duplicate this slide. This time I want to shift the focus from this place to this place and I'm going to call this South America. Then right click and duplicate the slide. Let's shift the focus to Australia, move this label right next to it and I'm going to write the text and then duplicate again, shift the focus to Asia and then move the label to Asia, done. Now I'm going to have more transition for all the slides let us go to transitions, morph, and let us reduce the duration to say one second. And since I had selected everything, it will be applied to all. Otherwise you can click on apply to all option. Now let us go to the first slide. You can see that there is this pulse and we have the float in happen. Then the pulse moves to the second focus area, then to the third focus area and to the fourth one. Now you might wonder where is that sound of a camera? Now, if you want to know how to add the sound of a camera click, it's very simple. Let us go to the first one and here we have the option to go to effect options, go to sound and here you can use the option called camera and say OK. And that is exactly what you need to do for other slides as well. When you go to the pulse animation, go to sound and add camera and say OK. Let me complete that for the other ones as well. Now let us do one more thing. For the first slide, let this appear first and then we will have the pulse happening. And that is a very important thing because I don't want this to be there on the slide when I show this screen. So let us go to animations. Since I already have one animation on it, I want to add another animation and that is appear animation. And this happens on a click and this happens as the first thing. And right after that we will have this pulse animation with the sound and then we will have this one float in. 
Now let us go to slideshow and this is our final result. So we have the first one introduced and the second one, the third one and the fourth one and it looks beautiful. If you want to learn more such interesting tips and tricks and learn PowerPoint completely, then you can go to Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery program, which is an easy to follow, comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program. The link is in the description box below the video. Click on the link and check out more details about this program. By the way, I've created another video called Creative Custom Animation to present PowerPoint maps. It's a very interesting video. I will leave a link to this video right on your screen. You can click on the link and watch that video next to understand another way to present your maps more interestingly. And if you want to join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free 5 day mini training, you can click on the link here. I'll share 25 useful PowerPoint ideas that are readily usable in your next presentation. So click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.